welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel's all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I'm here talking about my favorite traditionally published romances. So I've been thinking about this for a while because I watch a ton of romance booktube. Love it, love it, love it. I think you find great content and great suggestions, recommendations, but a lot of those are indie and self-published, which I read a ton of, so don't get me wrong. I absolutely love them. I probably read more indie and self-published romances since starting booktube than traditionally published by far. However, I do think that there are a ton of those that are absolutely fabulous, and I wanna tell you about them. So let's just get to it. We are talking my favorite traditionally published romances in three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh, I have to show you all my shirt. It says, I still read children's books. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, Um, please remember to hit the like, subscription, and notification bell. I can't thank you enough for doing all those things. It just helps us out tremendously and you have given me such a good time in the last few years of chatting with you about books. I can't, I can't put into words how appreciative I am. Remember, support is absolutely free, so it costs nothing to hit those buttons, but it means a lot to us. Okay, the first series is the original Heartbreaker series by Gina Showalter. Book one is called The Closer You Come. This is a six book series. There's a couple novellas um, that I'm not counting. Um, I did not read those, but the primary six books, oh my gosh. So this features a group of guys who, if you like found family in your romances, this series you need to check out. So they all grew up within the foster care system together and they all vowed that they would kind of stay brothers and they really keep each other on the right track. They hold each other accountable when need be without judgment, without, they're just an amazing found family. These books are their stories. Let me put up my spice scale, which I cannot take the credit for this. My friend Sonia from Sonia with an I, she's a fabulous booktuber. She doesn't lead it, read a lot of romances herself. She reads pretty much the gamut of everything else. She does read some romances, don't get me wrong, but it's not her, necessarily her thing. And she had mentioned, wouldn't it be funny if you rated your romances um, spice levels by Spice Girls? I'm like, that would be hysterical. Can I do that? She's like, yes. So I have started doing that. Then she made me this which you can see is absolutely amazing. So there's your scale. We got one, Baby Spice. Two is Sporty Spice. Three is Posh. Four is Ginger. And five is Scary Spice. And I would rate this series overall, um, Ginger, 0.5. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's a pretty spicy series. Next up is the, oh, I... I can't recommend this series enough. I put the two together. You'll understand why in a minute. So it is the Green Mountain and the Butler Vermont series by uh, Marie Force. And the series started out, the Green Mountain series, six books. And then she continued it self-publishing after that. And she had to change the name of the series. So now she calls it Butler Vermont. Same series, picks up exactly after the Green Mountain series. So the Green Mountain series the family the is about a family who runs a country like a uh, mercantile general store and um they all get their their happily ever afters and oh my gosh the town is if you like small town romances I cannot recommend the Green Mountain series enough. There's a moose that just walks around and everybody knows it. And they're just like, oh, it's just, you know, Charlie. It, I don't, his name is not Charlie. I don't remember his name. It it just was the most quaint, oh, everything I wanted in a small town romance. I've read all of them. I've not read all of them in the Butler Vermont series, but um, she is an amazing writer. So I definitely will be continuing this series. Really recommend it. So good. So I really want to give you um, several, but but also different themes. So the first one was pretty general. The second one was a small town romance. And this one is a fighting romance. So the series is the ultimate series. This is by Lori Foster. Book one is actually a 0.5. So I don't count that. I did not read it. I don't know about it. It did not leave me without 
understanding the rest of the series by far. So book one is called No Limits. Like I said, there is a point five. It's called Hard Knocks. Have not read it. I gave book one three cups of coffee, but then after that, I gave the rest of the series four. I absolutely loved it. So it is about, again, MMA fighters, but they work at out at all at the same gym. They're all good friends. And these are their love stories. And Spice, I think all three of these, because I don't think I mentioned Marie Force. Marie Force is always kind of like, Ginger, and I would say these are ginger as well, too. So right on the uh, four level. They are they are pretty spicy, and spicy is subjective, but I'm just saying. Next up is another, um, it's not necessarily a small town because it takes place in Seattle, so let's say it's like a family romance. <laughs> that sounds bad. No, never mind. Let me rewind. It's, um, this series is about, like, it's an interconnected standalone. The family is the Sullivans. Each one is about a different member of that family getting their um, their love uh, story. Six books in this series, but there now are several spinoffs. So this author is um, uh, Bella Andre, and I did not write down the name of the first book, but I will put it here. And she is one which I see starting to happen where um, they want the series to continue, but they run out of people because like, you know, the, the family only had five siblings. So now we're like getting like the New York Sullivans or the, you know, whatever the case is. I'm all for that. That doesn't bother me a bit. Um, but I'm just saying that's what is happening now. I have not read all of the spinoffs. I don't know if there's actually a New York one, but there is a spinoff. Um, of other Sullivans in another part of the country. There might even be more than one. This series was really great. And I think it also maybe is like more posh, in between posh and ginger. So really good. Next up is a sports series. This one's really fun because it's called the play-by-play -play, and each one is a different sport. So this features around the Riley uh, family and they own um, like a sports agency. So they, like I said, there is hockey, there is baseball, there is a race car. Um, you're like, did you get that? <laughs> it's a race car, uh, baseball, football, you name it, it's there. The first book is called The Perfect Play. This is by JC Burton. This y'all is super spicy. It is super spicy. I would put it definitely ginger 0.75, um, maybe into scary, but not. It's really spicy. I have two more for you. They are both small town. My heart lies sometimes in small town romances. I absolutely love them. I love that. Most of the time you get a bunch of found family. They all, since they all know each other really well, you get great banter. I am a banter girly. I have to have great banter in my romances to ultimately really enjoy them. It is the Lucky Harbor series. This is by Jill Chavez. Book one is called Simply Irresistible. There are 12 books in this series. It says Lucky Harbor series is set in a fictional Pacific Northwest small town sandwiched between the ocean and the Olympic mountains. And oh my gosh, is it good? Highly recommend it. Um, it's been so long since I read it and I just kind of gave you the gist. So I'm just going to leave it at that. As far as spice level, um, I would say it's pretty spicy. I would give it like a posh to a ginger. It's so subjective. Our spice is so subjective. Last up, but certainly not least, it is the Fool's Gold series by Susan Mallory. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Book one is called Chasing Perfect. There are 20 books in this series. Welcome to Fool's Gold, California, a charming community in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. There's lots to do and plenty of people to meet, especially women, because there's just one tiny problem, Fool's Gold. The men don't stick around. Oh my gosh. All of them get a happily ever after. It is, again, found family because everybody knows everybody in this small town and they're up and they each book you get like minglings of other couples I absolutely love it I want to know what your favorite traditionally published romances are I'm not a huge fan of um, standalones I really prefer series I like to get to know the couples and see them throughout the series and the growth and I I just love the relationships between all of the couples 
Anyways, uh, your favorites. Give them to me, give them to me, give them to me, please. Um, and for an emoji, um, oh, read me the lips, the lips, the kiss. All right, everybody, give me a big thumbs up for this video. And until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody.